Hi everyone, Angie the Craft Needle, and I lied to you, and I'm sorry. My sincerest apologies. I told y'all I wasn't going to have any more Diamond Art Clubs coming up for a while, and I was wrong. Apparently, I still had some pre-orders that were in the works, and um, I was sitting in my recliner today, diamond painting, and uh, UPS must have come, and Jeff must have headed him off because I hear Jeff knocking on the window on the front porch, shaking this DAC box at me, like, what the hell did you do? I thought you said there weren't any more. And I was like, oh, crap. Uh, I told him there weren't any more coming because my closet overfloweth. Yes, I need to reorganize my closet. I've got too many diamond paintings. So these are two diamond paintings. I have absolutely no idea what they are because, like I said, a lot of my pre-orders, almost all of them, got filled, and so let's see what we've got. Aw, and I see what it is. Look at this teeny weeny little box. This is the smallest Diamond Art Club box I've ever seen. And I see what it is, and I am so, so excited to see this. This is an image that I have longed after um, for a very long time, and it finally came available again for pre-order. And I ordered it right away when I saw it because I've seen it completed on Facebook or on somebody's channel. I'm not sure which. And for a small diamond painting, it really turned out magnificently. And um, I know that I'm going to get some guff for this because I've got so much going already. But I'm going to do this one right away. It's so small. I can get it done really quick, right? So it is Princess Mononoke by JoJo's Art, which I love JoJo's Art's artwork. And it is a 44 by 32 centimeter square shaped diamond painting. So in the box, we have our small sticker that you can use for your log book or to identify the box or to stick on your forehead or whatever you want to do with it um, with the picture of the image and the artist's information. Uh, it also comes with everything you need to diamond paint if you've never done it before. It comes in this toolkit. You have a boat with a funnel two heart-shaped squares of wax, which are, they're not squares, they're heart-shaped pieces of wax, a squishy for your pen, a four-placer for the end of your pen, a bunch of baggies, a nice pair of tweezers, and a blue pen for diamond painting. So if you've never diamond painted before, this is all you need to get started. A lot of people, most people who are into diamond painting have lots of lots of extra accessories, but really, for a long, long time, this is all I used, and I was fine with it. And I can remember thinking to myself, I don't know why everybody thinks they need all that extra stuff. I'm fine with just this plastic pen. I don't, you know, they talk to me, you know, a year and a half later and all of the crap I've got. Story of everybody's life, right? Anyway, let's get into this because I'm really excited to see this. I'm going to fold it backwards just because it is kind of small. Diamond Art Club has a very nice soft back canvas. Um, I love soft back canvases are my favorite canvas type. They I love having that extra cushion when you're pushing uh, because I, I'm a hard drill presser. And so it's nice for me to have that extra cushion when I'm pressing placing my drills down. And this is the image. And it is so gorgeous. And I am shocked at how well this diamond painting actually comes out for as small as it is because there's a level of detail there. There's a definite level of detail in that diamond painting and it just, it absolutely comes out so beautiful. I, like I said, I've seen it done and it comes out very nicely. If you've never diamond painted before, every Diamond Art Club kit comes with step by step instruction guide. So you'll have that. And you also get this other uh, larger image sticker that has a start date and an end date listed on it, as well as pre-scored sticker labels to put on your storage containers that lists the symbol code that goes along with each DMC number of all of your drills for organizing your drills. So you get that as well. And this time of painting has 38 colors and it doesn't have any ABs. And I have to tell you, you know how I feel about ABs. I, Sometimes I love them, but sometimes I think they're not necessary. This is definitely a diamond painting where I don't believe that they're necessary whatsoever. Um, just because of what the image is, just I think classic colors are going to just really look 
nice in this diamond painting. So let's take a look at our drills. Like I said, 38 colors. And we'll take a look at what those colors are. So we've got a couple bags of 310. And they look like really, really nice drills. I don't see any junk in there. And the backs look nice and flat. I worry with square drills, sometimes you can get concave ones. Um, or ones where the backs aren't exactly flush. These look really nice. We've got quite a bit of this dark brown, another brown, some beige green, some sage green, some peach, burgundy, brown, more peach, that's probably skin color, beige, tan, gray, more tan, more peach, some brick color, some orange, a couple colors of green. Then we've got, uh, I don't know, 3776, whatever color that is. White, lime green, couple colors of green, brown, some reds, some mauve, more red, more green, a little bit of purple, a little bit of bright orange, a little bit of blue, some more red, grays, and a little bit more blue. I think this is gonna be the color of the wolf's eyes and that's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. His eyes just sh shine right out of that picture and it's gonna look amazing. And I am gonna do this one right away so I'm not gonna bother putting this away because it's just gonna get started and done and I'll have it done by tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Don't don't yell at me. Just let me do it, okay? All right, thanks. Again, it's uh, 30 or 44 by 32. So just a little bit bigger than a 30 by 40, but this is an actual 30, 44 by 32. So the measurements are gonna be for glue to glue, not for the entire canvas. Just so you're aware of that, Diamond Art Club, when they give you their measurements, it's for glue to glue, not for whole canvas. Like some of our other more budget friendly sites, uh, when they give you the dimensions of a 30 by 40, they're just measuring the canvas size. So. That is the first one uh, from this order, and I'm happy to have received it, and I'm gonna set it gently down here off to the side because I'm gonna go work on it as soon as I open this one up and show you what the second one is in this order. And this is another one that I looked at for a really long time and was really glad when the pre-orders opened up for it. It's a round diamond painting kit. It is 50, two by 72 centimeters so it's not too too big and it is called time by Suniva mister meister and it's just the owl with a clock and the owl is holding a heart not a heart like a sh heart shape but an actual functioning valved heart which i think is super cool so let's get into it and take a look all right and this one i already said that it's round and now this should be the end of my pre-orders for a while, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure. They really came out all at once, too. They didn't, they weren't. Uh... So again, you have your small sticker sheet like you get with all of your Diamond Art Clubs and your standard toolkit, which is gonna be the same as the square toolkit with the exception that you do not get tweezers when you get a round diamond painting. So there are no tweezers in the round toolkit. And let's get into this canvas and take a look at it. Dun, dun, dun. I just love the smell of a new diamond painting. It's the best smell in the world. If anybody disagrees, I will fight you for it. I'm just gonna fold it backwards so we can get it to lie flat immediately. Diamond Art Clubs, like I've mentioned before, will lie flat almost immediately anyway, just because of the softness of the canvas and the type of canvas that they use. And boom, there it is. Now, this doesn't look, this is a ton of confetti, holy guacamole, yeah. So you've got a white background, but there isn't much of the white background that's showing behind the eagles of the owl. And then you've got the clock and the gearworks in the background. 
and he's holding the heart and the heart has a key on it or a keyhole rather um, and it is a lot of confetti wow only 23 colors in this guy so you have your step-by-step -step guide again and then you have your pre-scored sticker sheets that have the symbols on it for your containers 23 uh, colors is not very many but the reason for that is because you're dealing basically with a black and white image you just have a little bit of color there for the eyes and the heart and the keyhole on the heart and that's all but it is gorgeous I love it this is going to be definitely one that goes up in my craft room um, this is one of those ones that kind of just speaks to me and uh, definitely w is, is one that will go on the wall displayed in my craft room along with uh, like Artemisa and Nightbringer and um, oh, Alice in Snow White, those kind of uh, my Lizzie Falcon, which one am I thinking? What am I thinking of? Uh, Maleficent. Maleficent. Yeah. So, going to be kind of a monochromatic color palette here when we're looking at drills, just because we only have 23 different colors, and they're all going to be. And this one does. This one has one AB, and it's 141, which is white. So, an AB drill means Aurora Borealis, and it is a regular resin drill that has an iridescent coating on it that makes it reflect the light in a rainbow colored way. So that is going to be our one and only AB in there. And where is it going to go? It's an equal sign. And it's just going to be sporadically sprinkled in the wings of the owl. And um, yeah, that's where I see it, just in the wings here. So that's going to look really cool. Just, just have those ABs kind of sporadically sprinkled throughout the owl's wings. Very cool. All right, so we've got orange and browns and red, white, and then we've got all of these varying colors of greens, browns, mauves, grays, tans, and more grays, and white, and black, and brown. And that's it. I mean, there's nothing really exciting about actually 939 this like, there's three big bags of 939 so there's actually a lot of this dark navy blue and um then we've got a couple bags of 310 so you're going to have some blue in there as well but that 939 blue is so so dark look at the difference this right here is 939 and this right here is 310 and they are so close it's really even hard to tell the difference between which of those is black and which of those is blue so just a very monochromatic image, but it's going to really make that heart in the center and those eyes really pop out of that picture when it's finished. This is one that I would like to get to uh, sometime relatively soon, just because this is going to be one of those ones, you know, a lot of times I do diamond paintings that I do them for other people or for certain um, holidays or events that are going on in the community. And this is one that I really wanna do just for myself, just because I'm gonna enjoy doing it and I'm gonna enjoy it when it's completed. So this is one that I'm gonna put this on my short list, as I like to call it, of uh, diamond paintings that I'd like to get to sometime relatively soon. And that is called Time, by, again, by Cineva Meister. Meister or Mister? I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name. But these, uh, as of my unboxing, these two were available still for order. I believe, you know what, I'm not going to say that for sure. I thought they were. If they're not, you can always put your email address in the item tab uh, to be notified when they do come back in stock or get available for pre-order again. And Diamond Art Club will notify you um, at that time via email. Uh, so I will link both of these canvases in the description under the title of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments section and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. 
Um, thanks for hanging out with me for another little unboxing. And until next time, I will see you guys later. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.